top and bottom fuselage halves. Both main. Now the motor can actually come straight apart. Hey guys, today I got my new Radjet 800 from Hobby King. Uh, basically doing an unboxing video, a bit of a setup video of how I've actually set it up, and then a couple of flight videos to see how she performs. So let's take a look at what's in the box. The version that I got was the kit version, which is the cheaper one without the electronics. And it looks like we got two wing halves here, held in by tape so it stops them moving around. Actually feel quite quite stiff. And here's the manual. It's got colour pages there, so that should be nice and easy to put together. Bit of a CG location there. These are loose, they're not they're not attached or anything, but they're foam so they shouldn't be any issues there. Like an underbody reinforcing strip there. And here's the main main body of it. Everything does seem to be nice, nice and secured apart from those little stabilizers there. What's in this? Okay, here's all your, your motor fittings and your prop. Another spare prop there. And the motor. Okay, now I'll just lay it out to give you guys a better look. And here it is all laid out. Just got foam hinges there for the ailerons. The hatch for it is in a few different pieces, your, your main part here. And your cockpit canopy there, which actually has the magnets already installed. And the black bit goes on top. This piece here is the bit that actually locks your motor in. You've got your motor mount that goes in there. And then the latch goes on top like that. And this piece here goes on there to lock this piece in. And it does look like... They're supposed to be held in with magnets in those four corners there and the same thing with the main hatch. There's a few, you can see the indents there and there which corresponds there and there. I think there's pretty, pretty sure there's supposed to be magnets there. These are to space out your motor. If you happen to have a, a shorter or longer motor you put more or less of these in to move it forward or back. There's your prop there. They are fairly flexible. They're certainly a lot more flexible than an APC prop, so you may want to may want to consider that. And there's your control horns and control rods. These bolts are for your motor mount. They go through all that to lock it all together. And here's a bit of a look at my final setup. I've got the Turnigy. 2836 and it's a 2350 kV motor. I'm running on that on 4 cell. I've got the APC 5x5 prop and a 60 amp speedy there that I've actually cut the heat shrink off the, the heat sink so it just gets a bit better cooling. Got my orange receiver there and the Nanotech 4 cell, it's a 1000 milliamps and the little satellite up the front there.
too fast. <laughs> okay, let's see what speed we got to. Yeah, time is seven minutes. 2.6 and 117 miles an hour. So, I have no idea what that is in K's, I'm thinking to be around 190. And a maximum altitude of 475 feet. There we go. Okay, so that's how my Radjet flies. I think 117 mile an hour is quite good. Uh, make sure, if you're going to be doing with that much speed and that big a power system, make sure you put some carbon rods going across. I've got two 10mm ribbon, carbon ribbons going across. And also, just watch the throw on your ailerons. I've got this much for the elevator. And for my liking, that was good. But the same amount on the ailerons, it was much too, much too violent. So you'd probably want close to about 60% of what I've got here on the ailerons. Also, what you want to do is the CG location they give you in the manual is a bit too far forward. So I've actually set mine up. So it's in line just behind the the aligning notch there. So you want it, I think it works out to be about 15 or 20 mil behind the stock location and then you'll find it'll fly a lot better. So do yourself a favour, I think it's a great plane. I bought the kit version so that I think that was about 35 bucks. The motor's 20 or so, get yourself a around a 50 amp speed controller and you'll be laughing. Right, that's the Radjet 800. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and I'll see you later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>